In the previous video, we talked about lung volumes and capacities. Today, we're going to take a closer look at them. As we mentioned previously, lung volumes and capacity is measured by spirometry. The first thing that we're going to take a look at is called the TLC, or the total lung capacity. Total lung capacity is the amount of gas in the lungs after a maximal inspiration. So if you take a deep breath in and hold it, the volume of gas in your lungs is the total lung capacity. Normally, it's 6 liters for adult males and 4.2 liters for adult females. Next, we're going to take a look at vital capacity, or VC. Vital capacity is the amount of gas that can be exhaled after a maximal inspiration. So what you do is take a deep breath all the way in and then blow it all the way out. And that would be your vital capacity. The residual volume is the amount of gas remaining in the lungs after a maximal expiration. So as you're sitting there and you blow all the way out as far as you can, the amount of gas that remains in the lungs is the residual volume. Normally, it makes up 20% of the total lung capacity. Vital capacity plus residual volume equals total lung capacity. Tidal volume is the amount of gas an individual inspires or expires during normal, quiet breathing. So as you sit there breathing normally in and out, that's your tidal volume. It is 7 to 8 percent of the total lung capacity. The inspiratory reserve volume is the amount of gas that an individual can inhale above a tidal inspiration. So as you're sitting there and you make a normal tidal inspiration and then take a deep breath all the way in as far as you can. That's your inspiratory reserve volume. Normally, it's 60% of the total lung capacity. The expiratory reserve volume is the amount of gas that an individual can exhale beyond a tidal expiration. So as you're sitting there and exhale normally and then Push all the gas out that you possibly can. That's your expiratory reserve volume. Normally, it's 20% of total lung capacity. Tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume plus expiratory reserve volume equals vital capacity. FRC, or the functional residual capacity, is the amount of gas remaining in the lungs after a tidal expiration. Normally, it is 40% of the total lung capacity. There are three different types of capacities. The first is the lung capacities. It includes inspiratory capacity, which we're going to discuss next, the functional residual capacity, vital capacity, and total lung capacity. The inspiratory capacity is the amount of gas that an individual can inhale starting at a tidal expiration. So as you breathe out normally and then take a deep breath all the way in, that's the inspiratory capacity. Therefore, it includes the tidal volume and the inspiratory reserve volume. For instance, it would be smart to take an inspiratory capacity before jumping in water so that you can stay underwater longer. Normally, it is 60% of the total lung capacity. And finally, going back to the functional residual capacity, this cannot be measured directly with spirometry because the residual volume, or RV, cannot be exhaled. The functional residual volume is measured indirectly using helium dilution or nitrogen washout. The functional residual volume includes expiratory reserve volume and the residual volume. Thank you for tuning in to Biology Made Simple. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment.